Hey guys, Nick here with Picture This, and today we are going to do my last video of 2020. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So, um, as you guys know, um, those of you who have been with the channel since its inception in April, yeah, so I've been doing this since April all the way up until now, and it's been good posting a video a week, uh, trying to stay consistent, keep that content going out for you guys, improving my photography and videography along the way. So today, I figured since it's the end of 2020, we're finishing things up, what better way to do this video than review photos from the past year. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna keep this video relatively short, under 10 minutes is the goal, and let's just get going. So we have, I'm gonna pull up these photos first. So this was from when I first got my Samsung camera. This camera, the NX300M from Samsung. Uh, yeah, got that for Christmas last year and this is or these are some of the first photos I took So let's just break these down real quick. So um, I Don't know it was like January So I thought like the water would be cool because you know, it's not like fully frozen I couldn't quite like capture the motion exactly how I wanted because again I was like just new to the manual settings and dialing in shutter speed and everything else like that So I was kind of playing around with it um, it's not bad. Uh, towards the left of the frame, we have a little bit of background, not background, foreground elements. So we have um, some grass brush, if you want to call it that. So we got some of that going on, and then you got some of it in the water, and you've got the texture of the water running. And then we have a similar photo. I was trying to experiment with the bokeh, you know, because that's how you know you're a pro photographer, is if you've got the bokeh going on there. Yeah, I've kind of like, got this one thing in the frame. I don't really know how much I like that. Cause like if I put the crop thing on and you see the rule of thirds, okay, it's gonna take like an eon. Are you just gonna, sh can I just see a grid line? Okay, it's not gonna show me a grid line, but you get the idea. So like if there was a line here and a line here and then a line there and a line there, it wouldn't really be on any of those rule of thirds lines. It's just kind of like in the middle. The bokeh doesn't look too good either. Cause it's like a F 3.5. Like it's okay, it's a decently blurred background, but um, I just think the way the lens is with its aperture blades, the back, the bokeh isn't that satisfying. So um, this is a photo from a couple weeks ago, I think like a week or two ago to be exact. As you can see, things have definitely like improved a little bit since I started. So um, I got a little bit of foreground element right here with this piece of grass. Um, my editing has improved uh, incredibly like we've got a radial filter on there uh, I did some like tone curve stuff and masking and all that wonderful stuff that really helps out the photo in the edit um, some color grading um, Manipulating the colors playing with the tones to uh, turn this image from like a flat kind of like almost snapshot like phone image into something a little bit more uh, dramatic I guess so we've got this one too. Uh, we've got the nice background, um, basically just blown out to the heart's content here. Um, our focus is right on this branch. Uh, it was snowing when I went out too. So you got like the little bits of snow that wasn't Photoshopped and it looks pretty satisfying, I must say. Um, and then with the snow hanging on it, it just, I just think it looks so good. Again, it's another bokeh photo more than anything, but with the snow and everything, it's still relatively satisfying. Then I've got this one. So again, experimenting with the tones in the radial filter and also learning composition a little bit better. Like you could tell it's composed a little bit better. You've got your foreground here, background there. It's kind of rule of thirds, um, more or less. This really wasn't, um, it was just kind of like, I just like the way it looked in the frame more than anything so these are more recent uh, photos and then these are older ones so now i'm going to jump into lightroom here 
and now we're gonna look at even older ones so these are some drone photos just to start off um, again nothing super special um, more just edited for the sunlight like again you could see my contrast and uh, vibrance and saturation are just cranked for just no reason and then the ground below is just completely like blown out um, this was another photo of course the file could not be found because I moved everything around but you've got the uh, plant right here in focus um, if it wants to load yeah anyway plant in focus and then the, everything else is uh, blown out pretty cool uh, pretty well I must say um, similar concept here there's like a beetle or something going on uh, here and then you've got a little bit of chromatic aberration but that's because of the lens I was using um, not anything else let me find another one out of my 600 something images that are actually in Lightroom um, let's see here so then there was this one over the summer of like a bird a lot of images of this bird I think this one was good um, not terrible like eh, it's okay a little underexposed could bump that up and then do a bunch of other edits to it but that's not what this video is it's just going back and looking at them uh, this is when like my editing style started to like change like I wasn't just going like like this all like contrasty and vibrant and stuff and I was just kind of experimenting with different things what did I take this on uh, I want to know can I see the metadata please metadata where are you this was taken on the T2I believe it or not that's pretty crazy because it looks it's passable it's a passable image um, again composition a little bit better um, my friend Andrew here he was on the path and I just kind of framed up with that in mind and then another similar composition uh, my editing was a little bit kind of like overdone at this point because I was still kind of like experimenting playing around with the different tones how to get this type of look um, all that good stuff Ooh, there's this photo I don't know why the heck I did that I think I was just kind of like playing with the sky and the leaves and stuff like that uh, this was like more of an original I actually like the look of that composition wise um, we'll put our little grid so composition wise it's not terrible you got to point an intersection here here and then nothing there nothing there but it's not awful um, I like this one because you know it's got the leading lines and stuff like that but yeah I was definitely like improving my composition playing with reflections and ooh, where is this photo this photo I was pretty proud of um, even though I wish I had gotten the car a little bit more in focus but yeah then there was this series right here I thought was pretty good um, yeah so like I've definitely improved in my editing and just composition and everything else like that and for a little under a year I think that's not bad um, I think hope that like shows some of you guys out there like where you can go and how like tutorials and learning different things and advancing your photography can really help you out in the long run and improve your images exponentially and you know if you guys remember those first few photos they weren't outstanding in any way like compositionally or with editing or anything else like that but it just took months and months of learning and practicing and just trying new things and experimenting to kind of like try and find my style per se and the type of stuff that I like to photograph and the type of art I guess you could say that I want to make so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the support um, over this first year starting my channel um, we're almost at 200 subscribers that's like insane mind-blowing because um, I never thought I would make it this far um, so yeah that's just crazy so again I know I already said this but thank you guys um, the support is just amazing all the likes all the comments um, all the subscribers thank you guys for just coming back and watching my videos time after time I know words just can't say enough I guess so with that make sure to like subscribe drop a comment below hit the bell 
hit the bell so you get notified of my new videos. And that's it for me. That's it for 2020. Thank you guys so much and have a happy holiday.